Desperate to quell the rabble and rousers of the Communard uprising, Frisul I has taken his worst and most dramatic action yet. He has sent royal dragoons on horseback to pacify an angry mob, most of whom aren't even partisans. They share looks of terror, regret, and deceit with those they set alight. But they ignite much more than flames in the people targeted tonight. Seventh of March, 02. Simple men and women had taken up arms against the decadence and depravity of old money and drove the suzerainty into the sea. Communard heroes sit on the back of bullet-ridden, fatigued machines. A celebratory parade to help forget the wounds and lost loved ones. During this short-lived victory, it seems okay to let yourself be just a little happy. You are witnessing a moment between eras, the birthing throes of transformation. Bulldozers lie dormant where once they were fishing huts filled with real-life people. But everything is now in service to the new complex that slowly emerges from the mud. The Clare Center for Youth and Education. The bitter taste of salt and silicon dust hangs severely in the air. It's tomorrow, the day after. The wedding is over, the guests are gone, and the cleaning crew hasn't come yet. They're about 17 years late now. This isn't abandonment or even apocalypse, though some may say so. Martinez is a monument now, a characterless tableau to borderless sociopathy, where only brands and good living exist. Pay for your bag and don't forget your receipt.